Welcome. In this video, I would like to return to the topic of Evernote. In prior videos, I described the use of notes and notebooks. I even showed you how to create links between notes. In this video, I'd like to address those topics and a few others, such as the use of tags and the creation of stacks for notebook organization. Let's get started. Here, I'm displaying my Evernote window. And in this application, I'm showing the Evernote examples notebook. And you can see within this notebook, there are a number of notes, some of which I've displayed in prior videos. It's possible to take the text and images and audio recordings that are within multiple notes and merge them together into a single note, either deleting the original notes in the process or retaining the original notes. I'll show you how this works. If I select these two notes by clicking one and shift or command clicking the other on a Windows computer, that keystroke would have been control click. Once I've selected these notes, I can point to one of them, right click and choose merge notes. And here I'm asked for the title of the new combined note. So I'm just going to call it combined note. But before I click the merge the two notes button, I'm going to drop down the advanced options and choose to keep copies of my original two notes. Now I'll merge these. And I have a new note in which the contents of the two other notes is included. I'm going to drag that to my trash and delete it. So that's the first tip, how to merge multiple notes into a single note, keeping the original individual notes or allowing them to be discarded in the process. All right, creating a link between notes. I'm going to take this note, and you can see here at the bottom, I have a hyperlink to practice note number two. When I click that, practice note number two displays. The way I created that link was by pulling down the more options menu, choosing to copy the internal link within the app. So copy the app link, not the web browser link. I don't want to force my web browser <clears throat> to open. I want to stay within the Evernote app installed here on the computer. I copy that, go to another note, and simply paste edit, oh, I'm sorry, right mouse button, paste. And I get a hyperlink that when I click on that, takes me to the note that was referred to in the hyperlink. Now, I know this will be a little bit difficult to see on your screen, but when I hover over an internal hyperlink in Evernote, the URL is Evernote colon slash 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 view and then a, a character string. The character string is the unique identifier for the note that is being referenced. And by having the URL be Evernote colon slash slash slash, it indicates that the link is here within the Evernote application on my computer, 
not on a separate website. So that's the second tip, how to create an internal link between notes. Now, that tip becomes particularly useful if you wish to create a table of contents for a, a set of notes, or if you wish to link notes to that you take during class lectures, it can be really useful at the when you're taking a notes during class to create a link back to notes that you have previously typed during a different um, lecture period, because it's very common for professors to make reference to comments that they've made on during prior class lectures. So it can be useful in your notes to have links back to the details that were addressed during the earlier lecture period. The next tip is working with notebooks and notebook stacks. Notice that here I have a notebook named YouTube Examples. I'm going to create another practice notebook for a moment. Click New Notebook, and I'll name this Practice Notebook, or Practice Notebooks. And it's here. There are no um, notes within this notebook, but I could easily drag one or two in there. I can just drag and drop. And now that note, faculty meeting for July of 2022, has been moved from the YouTube examples notebook into the practice notebooks notebook. Uh, that's kind of hard for me to say. So I'll try not to say it too often. Now, maybe I want those two notebooks, the YouTube and the practice, to be organized together into whatever note refers to as a stack. So I right click on practice notebook and I choose the option to add to stack. Now on my computer, I already have three stacks of notebooks. I do this as a way of hiding my personal information so it doesn't display in the videos but I'll create a new stack and I will name this hmm, practice. Yeah, you know, in these videos, I'm not all that creative when it comes to text. Now, the practice notebooks notebook has disappeared. It's actually inside of the stack called practice. And I can take the YouTube examples notebook by right clicking on it. I can add it to the practice stack. Now the two of notebooks are within the same stack and the stack can be closed just to keep my left margin more clean. It can be opened, but these notebooks still function the way they have always functioned on my computer. They're just now organized visually within a stack. If I were a student, I might create a stack for each academic semester and within that stack have a notebook for each of the courses that I took during that semester. Maybe after graduation, I could take all those notebooks and put them in a single stack. But I don't know that it's actually all that important. It's once I have the ability to hide a stack, hide the contents of a stack, um, the stack is serving its purpose. Although Evernote doesn't allow me to put stacks inside stacks. I can put notebooks 
inside a stack or but I can't put the stack inside another stack. So maybe it would be useful to have a single stack at graduation time to organize all the notebooks that I had created during um, that degree program. All right, one last tip, and that has to do with tags. This note here, if I pull down the options menu and edit tags. This note has been assigned a number of tags. I've deleted a few of them, leaving only the YouTube tag. I can add a different tag. For example, I have one on my computer called Household. And now this note is associated with both YouTube and household. So uh, if I were a student, I would create a tag for each course that I um, attend, not each class, but each course. And it's a way of categorizing the contents of each note. Because tags become really useful once you've started using them over uh, a few hundred notes, because I can do kind of cool things like this. I can search for tag colon YouTube. And I get this note here because it has been assigned the tag YouTube. If I were to search for the tag household, I would get well over a thousand um, notes that I've created in my Evernote account over, well, more than a decade. I hope these tips were useful to you and that you find them valuable in organizing your academic information. Until we meet again in a future video, I wish you the absolute best in all of your academic work, but particularly in your use of Evernote and the way you can organize the information that you collect. Bye for now. Mika, you're such a good dog. You like being by the water, don't you? I love you.